Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of September, so stick around. So I was able to watch quite a few movies during the month of September, not as much as I normally do um, due to sickness and vacation. Um, so, But today I thought I would go ahead and go over all of the titles that I did watch. If you'd like to follow along on my letterbox account, you can um, find the link down below. Um, so there was a period of time where I did get sick during the month, um, twice. And then there was a time that I went on vacation. So there will be some days that I was unable to watch a film, which is very unusual for me. But I did watch a TV series on Peacock, which I enjoyed. Um, but we'll talk more about that later. So first up, I watched Flashback. Um, this right here is one that was recommended to me that I've had in the collection for a very long time. Um, it was just okay. It wasn't anything special. I did like the film, so I gave it a heart and it got two stars. Um, but it was a pretty much forgettable type film. But it did have some really good elements to it. Okay, next up I watched Society. This right here was another one that was recommended that I'd check out. So I opened up the still book and watched it. I did not care much for it at all. Um, the topic just wasn't interesting to me. It got half of a star. Okay, next up, I wanted to see something really good that I hadn't seen in a long time. So I watched A Perfect World um, starring Kevin Costner. And there's a little young man there, um, which pretty much stole the show. Um, it got five stars and a heart. It is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I really enjoyed it. Um, great performances, great storytelling, and it was Clint Eastwood um, directing the film, which is always great for me. I, I really do like Clint Eastwood. Next up was another recommendation, and that was Red Dawn, the remake. Um, it was okay. It didn't live up to the original, which I'm not even really a huge fan of the original. Um, but this right here was pretty much the same thing. Um, I, it, I did not give it a heart because I didn't really care for it, but it did get two stars. Okay, next up, <clears throat> I watched um, A Friend of the Family, True Evil, which is a documentary. Um, this is where I was watching the TV series on um, Peacock that was based off of a story from the 70s where a young girl gets kidnapped twice. Um, by a family friend. Um, pretty interesting pretty interesting story um, and if you've got Peacock I would highly recommend you check it out. Okay next up I watched Matilda. Um, I opened up my still book. I watched it. I had never seen Matilda before. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really fun movie. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. Um, just a fun kids movie. I, I do know that my kids when they were I'm growing up in the 90s, watched this, but I never did see it with them. Um, so it was nice to check it out. Okay, next up I watched Thirst, which is another recommendation. It got three and a half stars and a heart. Um, it is a vampire type story. Very well done. It is um, in a different language, so the, you do have to um, read subtitles. It is in Korean. But I really enjoyed the story. I thought it was very, very well done. I would highly recommend you check it out. And then another recommendation. I watched Sanctuary, which was released on DVD. Um, this right here is a story with just two people in it. And I don't know. It was kind of strange. I gave it two stars and a heart. Um, but I think the, per the performances were out there to where it was enjoyable. Um, pretty interesting story. Okay, next up, another recommendation. I watched Dutch. I gave Dutch two and a half stars and a heart. It started off pretty slow, um, but really did end up enjoying this one. The story was really good. Um, halfway through to the end, I really enjoyed it. Um, you don't really see Ed O'Neill in a lot of things, and so I really enjoyed watching that. Definitely recommend you check out Dutch. Hopefully we will eventually get a Blu-ray release here. Okay, next up, Another recommendation, I watched Dear White People. I did not really care for this movie very much. I thought I was really going to like it, but I, I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. I gave it two stars because of the 
because of the performances, but I did not give it a heart. I didn't really care much for that. Next up, I watched Wild Card, which was another recommendation. It got one star, no heart. I didn't care much for this film. Um, it had some really good ac action sequences in it, um, but the story was all over the place. The gambling and everything. I don't know. I just couldn't get into the story. Okay, next up was a really nice film. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this story um, called Cobweb. Very interesting. If you get the opportunity to check it out, definitely check it out. It's, um, it was one of the new releases during the month of September. Really enjoyed it. It's a nice little horror story tale that um, I would highly recommend you check out. Okay, next up... I watched the Little Mermaid reboot, which I liked it. I gave it a heart, um, but the stars are not showing up. I do believe I gave this one two stars. Um, I thought they did a really good job of telling the story for the Little Mermaid, adding a little bit to it that we didn't get to see in the animated um, version. And I thought the performances were really good. The songs were good. Um, definitely check out the Little Mermaid if you get the opportunity. Another film that I watched that was a new release this month was Fall. Um, I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. I enjoyed it. Um, it kept me entertained to where I was anticipating to see what was going to happen. And it did not disappoint. I really enjoyed the story. Um, I thought they did really good with the practical effects of them being up high. Um, it was a little aggravating at times. The characters... Um, but overall, I really enjoyed it. Okay, a movie that I watched that was another recommendation. It was Fury. I had never seen this one before. I really love this film. This right here got four stars and a heart. Um, if you like classic Hollywood films, old stories, this right here was a really, really good one. I really enjoyed it. Couldn't recommend that one enough. Okay, next up I watched Elemental, which I gave two and a half stars and a heart. I enjoyed this one. I haven't been a big fan of the Pixar films here recently. Um, this one I thought was going to be pretty much like the other ones that I had seen um, from Disney and Pixar recently, but I really enjoyed this one. I think the story got really well. Um, I think the story was well written and um, the topic was very interesting, especially halfway through to the end. I really enjoyed it. Another first time watch um, this month was School of Rock, which I gave two and a half stars and a heart. Now, I had never seen School of Rock before, and I was a little bit annoyed at the beginning, but it really got good as the story got went along, um, so I really enjoyed this one. I thought it had a really good performance by Jack Black, who, who can be an annoying um, person at times, and plus a bunch of kids. But I did, I did enjoy that story. Okay, another one I watched for the first time this month was Clean. I gave it three stars and a heart. I enjoyed this story. Really dark and gritty. Um, there were some really good um, moments in it of fight scenes. Um, but there were times where this was really just dragging. It was a little bit too long. Um, but I did enjoy the story. And I would recommend that you check that out. Okay, next up I watched The Escape of Prisoner 614. I gave it two stars and a heart. Um, I always like to watch newer western type films. This right here felt like a western, but it's more of a cop escapee type film. Um, but I did enjoy it. It had some really good funny elements to it that I enjoyed. Um, so I would recommend that you check that out if you ever get the opportunity. Another one that I watched for the first time is Liar Liar. I just never had taken the time to watch this, so I finally did. Um, this one I gave two stars and a heart. I enjoy the film overall. Jim Carrey, to me, can be very annoying at times. Um, I'm not the biggest fan, and that really took me out of the film as far as his character. Just over the top. Just very over the top. It got very, very aggravating at times, but I am happy that I was able to see this one. I've heard a lot of people talk about it for so many years. Okay, next up I watched Arlington Road. Um, it got three stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this one. I had never seen this one before. This right here was another recommendation. 
It's a thriller type film with a very unusual ending. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend you check it out. It was a bit too long. It could have probably been cut 30 minutes. Um, it was a bit long, but overall I really enjoyed it. And then another one that was a bit long that I enjoyed was 2012. This right here was another recommendation. Um, I saw 2012 for the first time and I gave it three stars and a heart. I really enjoyed the film as far as a disaster film. I know a lot of people complain about the CGI, but I had no other idea of how they could have done what they did. The CGI was a bit over the top. The um, storyline was a bit over the top as far as how these people could survive what they survived. Um, but overall, I really enjoy the film. Those are all the titles that I watched during the month of September. Like I said, I wasn't able to watch a lot. I did get sick um, before vacation. Then I went on vacation, which I was not sick during vacation, which I'm very thankful for. Then as soon as I got home from vacation, it hit me again, and I got sick again. And I've been sick since, but I am getting better. But I'm very happy that I made it through all these films during the month of September. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I watched during September. And also give me some suggestions of titles that you think I should watch during the month of October. I really do appreciate your um, recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thank you again for watching, and we will see you next time.